We are going to talk now about um, electrophilic aromatic reaction, electrophilic aromatic substitution called the Friedel-Craft alkylation. So what is that about? It is about installing an alkyl group. And say, for example, if you use an alkyl halide, say that you're using metal chloride with a Lewis acid, aluminum trichloride, you will produce toluene metal benzene that's what you're doing so you start from benzene and you have say this is in my arrow right and i'm making that let's see what the problems to that reactions are advantages and disadvantages now when we have that reaction if we have an excess of the alkylating agent the problem with this is that toluene the product is more reactive than benzene towards friedel craft alkylation. What that means is that we can have poly substitution. In other words, this you can, after you put one metal group, you can put another, and you can do another. So that would be para silene. And that is a problem if I just want to make one. So, um, again, we can install the alkyl group, but I need to figure out the way to control that reaction so that I don't create poly substitution. The other um, inconvenient that we have with this reaction is carbocation rearrangement. If we have the reaction, say, with something simple, such as metal chloride or ethyl Chloride is fine because my electrophile will not rearrange. In case of the ethyl chloride, that's my electrophile. In case of the metal chloride, the electrophile is then this, and that will not rearrange. But what if I use um, propyl chloride? If I use propyl chloride in the presence of the um, uh, aluminum trichloride, that's your carbic ion, but that carbic ion will rearrange. Remember that here you have Hs, you will produce a 1, 2 hydride shift, and you're going to make the um, isopropyl cation, and that is going to act as the electrophile. So now it complicates the picture because say that I have um, if I have benzene and it's attacking my electrophile, if I wanted to make propyl benzene and I attempt to do this, actually that's not the major product. The major product is going to be the here, the substitution isopropyl. And it happens because this carbic ion rearranges to that. So that is a problem. And then again, polyalkylation can occur because the product, the alkylated product, is more reactive than the starting material. And so you can introduce another alkyl group. Or you can have carbocation rearrangement. That it complicates the number of products that you can expect. You may have a mix of products, and probably the major product is the one that comes from the more stable carbocation. And in a substrate like this one that I drew, uh, say that you form your carbocation here. Let's remove this for a minute. And let's form the carbic ion. What you would have if you attempted this is this carbic ion, but again, that carbic ion may rearrange. Say that you have that H group migrating, and now your carbic ion is going to be that. That's your electrophile. Again, makes a product. That is an issue with Friedel-Craft. So now we have another reaction, uh, also called Friedel-Craft, that is the acylation. That helps us with the issue. So I'm going to remove that. Instead of alkylation, now we're going to be doing acylation. And 
installing instead of an alkyl group, an acyl group here. So now you're using, say, R, C, O, L. Let's say this is the acyl group. But what is the advantage to that? Now, when you have, say, benzene, again, and say that you do metal um, acetyl chloride and aluminum trichloride, you're installing, now you're making this, and that substrate is relative to benzene, react slower. So react slower in electrophilic aromatic substitution. That we call being the activating group, the acyl group. The activating. So the acyl group is the activating. All right. So when you install that, well, let's say that into your aromatic ring. Because of that, we are not going to have polyacylation, no, no poly substitution. And also, we don't have no curvic anion rearrangement. So that is uh, important. So in many cases, when we want to make them um, say that the molecule that we wanted to make before, say that I want to make from, say that I want to install. Now, um, one, two, three, let's do four. So let's do that. Say that I wanted to install that. Instead of doing, if I did, uh, if I want one, two, three, four carbons, if I wanted that, if I did this with aluminum trichloride, the alkylation, you will be doing this carbocation that we rearrange into a better carbocation that will give you a mix of product. So that's why we don't use the alkylation to prevent um, another product. Let me just write it higher. So this you would form in the alkylation initially this carbonic anion, but it will rearrange to this carbonic anion, giving you a mix of product. Probably this is the major. So I cannot go and directly do the Trailcraft alkylation, but instead I can do an acylation. So same number of carbons, and you will do one, two, three, and four. And in that case, now you will do this is your installing that group. Now to get what I want to um what to obtain the compound that I want, now all I need to do is now a closure group interconversion. And that is accomplished. I need to reduce the acyl group to an alkyl group. And that is done with say um well sink. That is with mercury, um, and we use HCl. We're also going to use heat. This is the reduction, and it's called Clemson. Clemson and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. So now instead of going directly the path, if I wanted to do this. That will not give me the desired product because you will have rearrangement. So instead, we use acylation and then we reduce Clemson uh, reduction. So a couple of advantages then. We don't have poly substitution because this is not as reactive and we don't have those rearrangements. So now we have um, more tools towards um, what we want to, to when we're making molecules.